Fire Boy. Guys, welcome to day 13. Well done for making it this far. In this video, I want to show you how to load up an audio sample from your push and how to slice it up and turn it into an instrument. We've got no devices, so hit browse and move right to the top first because we're going to look for a sample on my hard drive. Go to places, not instruments like we usually do. Then I'm toggling through folders to find my sample. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I've reached the end of the column. I need to go further on the display, so I'm going to hit this selection in button to make it go further into my file. Okay, after some browsing, I've found my sample. I can preview it here by pushing the button if preview is off, and I can load it pushing the green button. So what it automatically does is it loads Simpler inside Ableton with my sample pitched to match my various pads in Ableton. The sample has also been warped so that it's all the same tempo as my Ableton project. You can see this track with your simpler like in session view by pushing track. It's the one with the red light. But now it gets better because if you push device, you can see on the top right of your push display that you can change your simpler mode. You can change it from classic to one shot or slicing mode. And this is what we'll be using. If you can't see that, then either your Ableton is not up to date or you might have a limited version like the intro or light. I'm using Sweet. So after changing it to slice mode, it sliced up my sample and put it in a 64 grid drum track view. You can also edit these inside your push. <laughs> yes, your old push one. You can change the slice sensitivity or whether you slice by transit or beat or region. You can also change all these other simpler options straight from your push. I can make the sample a lot shorter by changing the start and end numbers. I've pushed note mode to see my 16 pad drum rack and I'm using the step sequencer to make a clip with it. Reimagine the sample and make it your own. So that's how to find an audio file on your computer from your push, load it into the simpler, edit it and make new clips with it without needing to touch your PC or laptop. So now we have more than enough tools to jam out a song on the push, and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, together with tons of text prompts to remind you of all we've learned over the last two weeks. From me and all my little friends, thanks for joining me on this journey. If you're new or not, don't be a stranger, drop me a line and tell me how two weeks with push went for you. And we'll jam it up in a grand finale tomorrow for day 14.